Welcome to Learn to Read Thai video tutorial 4 and once again we'll just get straight into things and today I'm going to introduce two new consonants and two new vowels and so I'll get Pom to do the correct pronunciation for you. Moma, 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 Nonu, 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 Sarai, Sarai, Sarai. Sarai, Sarai, Sarai. Okay, um, with the two new consonants, <clears throat> this one makes an M sound as an initial consonant and as a final consonant. And this one makes an N sound as an initial and a final consonant. So with these two particular consonants, the sound doesn't change, whether it's initial or final. With the vowels, the, these two vowels are written above the consonant. This one just makes uh, an it sound, as in lid, or pin, or fit. And this one makes a long e sound. Quite easy to remember. With all the vowels we've done so far, they're also used in vowel combinations. But I'm, I'm going to do the vowel combinations later. So at this stage, I'm just going to do the vowels when used by themselves. So, all we're going to do today is take the new vowels and new consonants, along with the vowels and consonants we've done in previous tutorials, and make some words with them. And um, you should actually be able to read these words quite easily. So, the first, the first one, Pom will, will write for you. Okay, here we have the, the M consonant from today, the long R from a previous tutorial, and we've got a tone mark as well. Pom, just pronounce this one. Ma, ma, ma. Okay, and that means horse. I should have, I should have pointed out um, just just now that the with the two new the two new consonants. More ma means horse and nonu means rat. So this is horse, and then we'll take off the tone mark. Ma, ma, ma. And that's the, the Thai word come. Okay, so what we have now is the the M consonant from today and the long E from today. Me, me, me. And that's the Thai word um, to have. And it's, it's a word that's used a lot in Thai. And when Thai speak English, they often think in Thai and just translate to English. So you, you'll hear them say have a lot. Where we might say there, there is or there are, they say have. So if I, if I was to say that so, you know, there are two airports in Bangkok, the Thai version would be Bangkok has two airports. So, airports. so it's um, a lot more common than in English. On to the, the next word. Okay, we get Pom to say that for you. Man, man, man. So here we have the the M consonant from today, the short A uh from previous tutorial, and the N from today. So we just get man, which means it. Um, as a this is a pronoun that ties use for animals. With with animals, I I will use um, he or she depending on the animal's gender, but the ties will always use it. And on to the next word. Okay, this is the, this is the N consonant from today, the long E and the first tone mark. So I get Pom to say that. Knee, knee, knee. And this means here at, at this place. If we just change the tone mark, so we put in the <clears throat> the second the second tone mark. You will hear the the tone change. Knee, knee, knee. 
and that means this or, or these. Okay, now on to on to the the next word. I'll get Pom to say that for you. Yim, yim, yim. Okay, this is the the Y consonant that we did on last week's tutorial. This is the short I vowel from today, and this is the M consonant from today, and the second tone marks. So we get yim, which is the Thai word for smile. Uh, and this is, of course, Thailand is known as the land of smiles. So you probably see quite a few of these if you're in if you're in Thailand. Next word. This is the R consonant that we did in a previous tutorial. The short I and the more the um, M consonant as a final consonant. So I'll get Pom to say that for you. Rim, rim, rim. That rim in Thai actually has the same meaning in English. Um, rim or edge, brim, border. The, uh, the, ed the edge of um, a lake will be like rim, rim tale. Okay, now on to a, a long, longer word. But... But we've done all, we've done all these rest, these uh, vowels and consonants already. So although it's uh, a longer word, you should be able to read it. Okay, all, all of these consonant and vowels we've, we've covered already. So we have the the M consonant, the long E vowel, me. The N consonant, the long R, na, mi, na. One of the K consonants, and the and an M consonant from today. Now, all all I really need to tell you is that in Thai, um, quite often a vowel is spoken but not written. So here we just for this final syllable we just have a K and an M consonant but no vowel. So when that happens, you need to just insert an, like an O. It, it, it's a bit confusing at first, but you do get used to it. So I'll get Pom to say this word. Minakum. 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 And this is the, the Thai word for the month of March. On to, on to the next word. Okay, here we have the Gorgai, the G character from the, the very first tutorial. The short it from today, the short it vowel, and then the final consonant is the N consonant from today. Gin, gin, gin. This is the informal word for eat. This is the word that you, you use every day. Uh, ties our other words to be more formal. And it means um, eat, drink, uh, consume, use, take, or spend. Okay. I, now, the next, the next few words, the um, the tones will be quite important. As I said previously, the tones are important, but I'm not going to start teaching tone rules yet. We'll just do the basic sounds first, and I'll get on to tone rules later. So, Pom is going to write another word. Okay, th this is a K consonant from a previous tutorial, the long E vowel and a tone mark. Key, key, key. And that means to ride. Um, like, like English, it's used for um, ride, riding bicycles, uh, riding horses, and in Thailand, riding, riding elephants. Now, another word. Okay, this is the other K 
consonant that we we learnt previously with the long e vowel and the tone mark. But because although these two consonants are they both make a, a k sound, they're different classes. This is low class. This is high class. So because of that, the tone is different. So I'll get Pom to say both words so you can compare them. Key, key, key. And then this word? Key, key, key. And the second word means odd, as in the fact that something's not, not even. Right, on to the next word. Okay, this is an K consonant again, the long E, and the second tone mark. Key, key, key. This is a bit of a, a vulgar word, but it's used very commonly in, in Thailand. It, it basically means um, shit or e excrement, and it can be used as a noun or a verb. So it it, um, it will describe many types of excrement. For example, um, eyes are ta ta. So ki ki ta will be the the muck you get in your eyes in the morning. Ki hu will be earwax. Ki ki muk will be the the muck coming out of your your nose. And uh, it can it can, Thai can get a bit confusing with the tones. I'll just give you um, an example of this. Okay, these are all, all words we've done today. So this this key is the same as this one, which is to ride. And this M consonant and long R is horse. So this is to to ride a horse. Kima 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 On to the next next little phrase. Okay, so this this phrase is basically the same the same sound. So we've got we've got we got the ki ma and ki ma, but when Pom says it you'll hear a distinct difference with the tone. Ki ma ki ma ki ma ki ma ki ma so this one is to, to ride a horse, and this one, this is like excrement, shit, and this is dog. And in um, Thai grammar, it's reversed to English. So in English, we have adjective noun. In Thai, it will be noun adjective. So this is um, like shit, dog, which is actually dog shit. So if you, if you want to say ride a horse, but you get the tone wrong, you can actually mean dog shit, which is a bit... A bit embarrassing. Another word. Okay, this is this is the the Gorgai character from the first tutorial. Then the long e sound from today, and the first tone mark. Gee, gee, gee. And that's the Thai word for how many. So it's very, very commonly used if you want to know how many of something. You um, prefix whatever the noun with, with this word and you get how many. With the, the vulgar word for excrement in key, it's actually used as another function. Um, if, we, if we use it as a prefix with other words, it can describe someone's character. So look. Looking at this word here, if I if I if I get Pom to just say it for you. Niao actually means sticky. Um, you might hear the term cow cow niao, which is sticky rice. And when it's when it's prefixed with a, a this key. This describes someone's characteristic, and it actually means stingy, to be stingy with money. I'll get Pom to um, do another one for you. (laughs) 
And I'll get her to say it for you. Qigong. 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 This is another word that you hear quite a lot, and it means to be a cheat. And I'll get pumped to another word for you. Another example using the um, the key key pr prefix. Key gloa, key gloa, key gloa. So gloa is to be afraid, and key gloa is someone who is a coward or timid or afraid. Just um, one more, and I'll give you an example how ties. Play with words. Okay, L let len is the the Thai word to play. So when it's prefixed by a key, this is someone who's sort of playful or mischievous. But when, whenever I say this word to a Thai, they they will always turn it round. As leng leng ki, which means to play with shit. So it's, it's like a little sort of, ties like these little word plays, and they find them quite humorous. So I'll get Pom to say it both ways. Ki len, ki len, ki len, len ki, len ki, len ki. Okay, so quite quite a simple tutorial today. Um, two simple consonants, two simple vowels, and uh, as we go on, we'll 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 cover all of the consonants and vowels, all the common ones. Then I'll go into some tone rules, and then I'll probably finish up by doing the the lesser used consonants. And by that stage, you should be reading quite a lot.